Why would you ever want to buy a low wattage tube amp? Well, I'm going to tell you the reasons why using two great examples from Fender, so stick around. How's it going, y'all? My name is Cooper Greenberg, here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment on our videos, and if you're interested, become an insider by following the link below in the description. Um, but like I said, today we're talking tube amps, we're talking low wattage tube amps to be specific, and we're using kind of something new that's very old and something old that's new and old, and they're both old and new. So they're great. Uh, two bands from Fender. We got the Vibrachamp Reverb, um, which is the new 68 reissue that Fender put out um, that we kind of just got rolled into the store. Big fan of this amp. And we're going to compare it to something that's kind of, you know, a little more standard in their line, the Pro Junior, um, which you know, is amongst that tube amp line with like the Blues Junior, Hot Rod Deluxe, the DeVille. Um, but these are both low wattage tube amps, which mean you get a ton of great tone and you can get some of that classic tube breakup at kind of a lower volume and they're great for recording, great for playing shows. And they also just like kind of scream that great Fender vintage aesthetic that a lot of people, including myself, really like. So. Um, like I said, this 68 Viber Champ Reverb, it's um, kind of a, a reissue. They did the custom Pro Reverb as well um, in that same line. Uh, but they're the cool silver face, 60s kind of vibe. And the good thing about this one is that the original Viber Champs, if you've ever played one, um, they had an 8 inch speaker. They changed it to a 10 inch speaker, get a little more of that low end, a little fuller spectrum of sound, which um, really helps, and I think you'll see in the demos, like it just, it sounds really great. Um, it has a digital reverb, which is kind of funky. Um, you know, a lot of people would prefer like an analog, you know, get the spring in there. But if you play the amp, you adjust it, you move it around, you don't hear that kind of crangly, springy sound, which I think, you know, some people like that, some people don't. It's just a cool thing to have the spring in there. But as we've seen on pretty much all of their Tone Master line and everything in their more digital emulation kind of stuff, they've built these amazing reverbs, um, you know, digitally into this amp. Um, so it's a hall reverb on here. It can be this massive, beautiful ambient sound, or it can just be a nice little something, something to really bring some dimension to the sound. But um, you just got a treble and a bass knob um, for your tone control. And this thing has two channels, so if you put uh, your guitar into the second input, a little more headroom, um, pretty minimal uh, you know, difference there, but there is a tonal difference. And um, if you crank this thing up, it is five watts, so around seven or eight, you get some good distortion um, that's you know, nice and warm and harmonic, and then up to 10, it's really pushing, it sounds fantastic. And it's got the tube tremolo in there, um, and so, you get some nice, you know, 60s sound. I think about like, you know, certain Creedence Clearwater Revival recordings, that really nice, bright tube Telecaster with the trem sound and a great reverb in there, which is, um, you know, pretty much everything rolled into one. And it's at a pretty great price. Um, you know, it is small, it's a five watt amp. A lot of people have came, come into the store and seen it and, you know, it's about 750, I think, retail price. So some people are like, man, it's a tiny amp, and that's a big, big chunk of change. However, it is like the 68. It's a classic. It's this nice reissue, and it's got trem reverb, and uh, you know it. It would hold you over for a smaller club gig, especially if you're putting a mic in front of it. It's going to really cover all those bases. It's not a half stack. It's not going to be blown arenas away, but it's a great sound. On the other side of the table over here, we got the Pro Junior, which, like I said, it's a 15-watt uh, tube amp, and it is absolutely no frills. There's no trim, no reverb, no you know treble and bass control. It's just a tone knob and a volume knob. However, so like I said, they're, they're 10-inch speakers in both of these, so it's a nice comparison. This one, the Pro Junior's got a Jensen in it. The uh, Vibrachamp has a Celestion in it. But in the past, I've kind of toyed with getting a Pro Junior, maybe, uh, because I play Hot Rod Deluxe. Once you get to three on that, you're going to die. It's like going to blow your ears off. And it's 
not super practical playing at home. Uh, recording, you're not going to be able to get a ton of great you know, breakup unless you throw it in like an isolation chamber and really crank it. And you know, it's, it's tough to get that sound from something like a Hot Rod Deluxe. Um, but in the past, I had played a Pro Junior in the store and kind of gotten turned off by it because there's not a ton of tweaking you can do to the sound. And I thought at a low volume, it sounded a little thin for my taste. But um, I think you'll see we're going to run both of these through some demos. The Telecaster, we're using an Ultra Lux. Um, I was pleasantly surprised today when I kind of dove into it a little bit more. So without further ado, let's check out these amps. I'm doing a clean demo on the Tele, same song on both, and then we just dimed them out and went to 10. So you can really hear kind of how that tube breakup, which I think is the most desirable part of these amps in the first place, um, how you can hear those, you know, compare to each other. Also, uh, since the Pro Junior doesn't have the trim on it, uh, we're not putting trim on the VibraChamp. And there is a little kiss of that digital reverb, just kind of where I think that it sounds nice. Um, and it's, I mean, it's probably like right in between one and two, but I think it's like the perfect amount for that really cranked sound. So let's hear them and then we'll talk about Thank you. 
So there you have it, you guys, the Vibra Champ Reverb and the Pro Junior. And I think, you know, the whole point of this video is to show you how versatile that a small tube amp can be. Um, it's really something that I think a lot of people think bigger is better. They want the Hot Rod, they want the DeVille, they want the Deluxe Reverb or the Twin. Um, and it's really hard to control those amps in recording, in, you know, playing live. And I think the most beautiful thing about, say, playing a Telecaster with a Fender amp is you should be able to get all the dynamic control in this beautiful range. So you can crank this amp up and then turn your guitar down. Um, you know, this will work great on either of them. Turn your guitar down and clean up the signal. And then instead of using an overdrive or a boost or, you know, having to get a bunch of extra stuff on the pedal board, you can just contour that volume knob and you have an entire range of tones, which is the coolest thing to me about these amps. The first person that I kind of fell in love with guitar wise that did this a ton was Derek Trucks. And I know he's not the first person to ever do it, but you know, a lot of these classic guitar heroes also have this wide plethora of pedals. You need to, you're like, man, when am I gonna get a Univibe, Fuzz Face, all this crazy stuff. Um, and it's fun, I love collecting pedals too, but for a lot of gigs, I just want to take a guitar and an amp and have a quarter inch in the back of the amp and you know be be done with it. So it's nice to be able to really dive into all that dynamic, um, all the you know gain that you can get just from a great tube amp. And I will be honest. So I I wanted to make this video because I wanted to show the Vibro Champ because I really love that amp. Been toying with getting it, and like I said, I was looking for maybe a Pro Junior in the past and then the Vibra Champ came in. And so I was like, I'm turned off for the Pro Junior, now I want the Vibra Champ. And I would say that today, demos kind of changed my mind back a little bit. I really like the Pro Junior. It's tough to not have a reverb in there because I think Fender tube amp, you want some spring reverb. Um, but this one's a hall reverb and it's digital and it sounds great. I do like the spring kind of vibe though. I think I'm a purist in that way. However, um, the, this, these demos really kind of brought the Pro Junior back up in my, um, you know, my opinion. I think it sounds really good. There is a little less room to play with tone and it might sound a little thin, especially at a low volume. Whereas the Vibro Champ, you can keep it low, but you know, kind of contour your bass a little bit better. I like the trim. So I don't know, it's, it's kind of this thing where they're both great. Now, after doing the demos, for my purposes, since I do have the big old Hot Rod Deluxe, I'd probably go with the Pro Junior, um, but if I had neither of them, I'd probably go with the Vibra Champ. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, hopefully you dug the demos and kind of can hear the difference because there is a, a pretty solid tone difference just in terms of what you can control between these two. So let us know in the comments what you think about these amps. I think they're both great choices. You can find them both on our website. Um, like I said, the Viber Champ is a little pricier than the Pro Junior, and I think what goes into that is that it's kind of this reissue, classic, something a little special. Um, it's got reverb, it's got trim. Um, I think the the Pro Junior is maybe right around 500, so it's a you know about 250 dollars difference. And don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the price difference. So let us know what you think. If you want to learn more, check out our website, AlamoMusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. We'll see you all next time.